Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another Dissidia Final Fantasy Opera Omnia video. Today we're going to do the damage test on Lightning. Um, now for this damage test, we do have to do some things a little bit differently. Um, I can't go into the Bahamut fight because the main way Lightning gets damaged is spamming her EX through breaking over and over again. Well, in the Bahamut fight, he goes through modes where he can't be broken, so we just can't do that fight. Which is fine, because Lightning's more of a single target character anyways. So we're just going to go into her intersecting wills. Now also, we're going to use Garnet instead of Core. And the reason why is I still want Off Turn, which Garnet has. I still want good BT Auras. I still want Echo. I want all that stuff. The reason why Core doesn't work as well is because Lightning can burn through Core's... Uh, buff like super fast and then you won't actually get off turn like the whole way through so um, i'm kind of have to do a different setup for her right so let's go ahead i am doing this live i didn't pre-record it um i did practice it once and i think i can improve the damage so i wanted to kind of do it again <clears throat> the big mistake i made um the first time that i did this uh oh yeah i gotta fix her skill order here um yeah we'll just get bt effect up right away the big mistake i made the first time i did this was um you know, the, this lightning fight, the intersecting wills, the, the boss will do, like, when they hit a certain threshold on the force gauge, they do the thing where they give themselves, like, all framed buffs, right? Which I'm prepared for that with calls to wipe it, but the mistake I made was I had brought in a selfie friend, put launching on, but then they wiped the launching debuff, and then I didn't have launching for the burst phase, right? Um, speaking of that, Finding selfie is very difficult. Y'all need to keep putting selfie as your friend. Like, she's still really good. I went back and changed mine back to selfie because I'm getting frustrated that I'm not seeing selfies on the friends list. And it's not that I just want her for showcases. Like, she's still, like, really good in general. Like, it's really good to have launching during these force burst phases just to maximize out the damage, right? Um, so, Aerith, I think we're just going to go holy immediately. Yep, and I did bring some dispel calls. So... The idea is, is I'm going to make sure they get through that threshold where I can uh, dispel all their buffs. And then what I did to handle the launching is I'm just going to do Rain's Call with Lightning. Um, what I tried doing in my original run was to have like a Seymour Call because then I get some HP damage up. Or like a Leo Call I think would be good for some more true damage. <clears throat> but um, because I couldn't find a selfie friend, I just had to do Rain's Call because I, I got tired of resetting trying to find a selfie friend. So we're doing this without selfie which is fine um lightning we're actually well what i'll do is i'll hit spark strike to put her into her ravenger mode um but then i'm just going to oh yeah that's right this is where i would bring in selfie but i don't so yeah i guess we're just gonna kind of just attack and do stuff to stall out um i think i'm just gonna yeah lightning i don't really need to do anything with her <laughs> really i don't i'm just gonna keep hitting spark strike until i'm like ready to do my thing because then that way i just know my ex will be charged and ready to go when i want to do the actual thing and i'm going to try not to steal turns as much as possible here just to keep the game kind of flowing okay um so garnet doesn't really need to do anything special right now so we can just aquamarine i mean this should be a fairly quick setup my goal is is just to get into fr echo out as much as i can have lightning all right that's what i was waiting for was that um lightning now we will just do a normal we'll just keep doing spark strike nothing crazy we'll just stay in ravenger mode all right and then we're just going to use one of my calls to wipe the buffs so we are going to go ahead and do that get those wiped out of here perfect all right, and then what we'll do now, we have BT effect up. So now we force charge all the way up and get her overhead ready so she can deal damage with that. Perfect. <laughs> One heal and she's already maxed out. Very nice. All right, so we're just going to take this to the house and then we're already ready to go into force time, which is perfect. Keep that going. There we go. Ooh, that was actually pretty clutch there because now lightning can like kind of break them back a little bit if I want to. Um, all right, one more healing wind. And then we're going to go ahead and throw down some seal evil on them. Perfect. All right, BT effects are up. Lightning's BT effect, we're going to wait to put that up until after we're in force time. Um, let's see here. So, yes, we're going to seal evil. Yeah, this should be a pretty clean run here. I think I got this down. I think we should be good. Um, and once again, we're going to keep in mind, we're not going to expect like 500 mil from 
lightning here because you have to be an aoe damage dealer to hit like those really high numbers we got to think of it in terms of single target damage how much damage we're doing right and we only have two enemies not three so that when we are getting the off turn in this flash it's not as much as in a three target fight so we got to keep all of these things in mind uh lightning here <clears throat> Let me just make sure. And I got to time reigns at the right time. But we're going to start out by just going force time, I believe. Yes, we're just going to go force time here. And then I kind of just want the turn to pass. And I want to echo out with my other characters. I think what we're going to do is we're going to obviously get a double Aerith echo. And I think just one Garnet echo. But that should be plenty. We'll get a very high gauge. Because Lightning can echo herself very easily. That is the... The benefit of her like stealing all the turns is it's very easy just to have herself go into what she wants to do and you see with the fr she just has like instant turns right away anyways which is good all right okay so garnet is just gonna echo uh no calls i need to use or anything like that so we're just gonna echo Aerith will double echo and then just do an attack and then lightning's going to uh, I think I'm going to Echo, then I'm going to BT, uh, then I'm just going to probably do Rain's Call and then go into Burst, and I think we'll be good. And I think we will be good, and this fight is going to be absolutely destroyed. Um, okay, double Echo. <laughs> so yeah, uh, make your predictions now, those of you that are watching, uh, before, don't cheat and go ahead, make your predictions. How much do you think Lightning's going to do on a Burst phase? Keeping in mind, we're, we're strictly single target focused here. Okay, I'm going to do that again. Now, these aren't typical, you know, you might be asking, well, why why aren't I running like Cisne or Kane or stuff like that? Well, Garnet and, and Aerith are just, they're providing su such good ores and they are still off turn. They just don't hit every single turn, but the turns they hit are really big. So I feel like it's going to balance out where I'm, I'm getting like, because of the auras and because of the off turn being bigger on the turns they do hit, I feel like I'm balancing out just bringing, because I, I, I want to bring like full echo, right? Like I want to be able to echo and do all that. Kane can't echo, right? A lot of like off turn is like really struggling for echo and core is like the best one. But once again, I worry about core's uh, buff running out on lightning and not getting all the turns of it. Um, but core maybe still would have been okay. All right, um, Aerith, we did our double echo. So I guess we will Fury Brand. Ah, let's just Steal Evil again. All right. All right, now we should be into the home stretch here. All right, so Lightning, I want to time this so that I can get down to about turn seven is what I want to do. So what we're going to do is we are going to start with an Echo. We should have a fairly hefty gauge going into our burst phase. Once again, I, we're going to Echo, then we're going to BT Effect, and then I think Rain's Call, and that should put us about right where we want to be. Okay, 100% on that, very good. 100% on that Echo, that is a nice Echo. Alright, so we're at 573, so now we need to BT Effect. That is very important. <laughs> yep, and then we'll do Rain's Call and we'll be perfect, we'll be at exactly turn 7 going into the burst phase so this should be pretty optimized as to what i want to do and then we can kind of just balance the damage between the two enemies but they are going to absolutely get destroyed i mean if you lightning takes a little bit more finesse to play but like you you play her right i mean you can blow stuff up pretty well okay so we did that next is rain's call um oh is the rain's call gonna mess me up though because it's got to pull up one of the other characters uh, that's a bummer because that's gonna put me in at turn six. I don't want to do that But I don't want to do it without launching. See I just need a freaking selfie friend. Yeah, cuz what's good. Well, okay No, 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 we're fine because it's gonna pull them up, but then lightning still gets the next turn. So no, we're okay We're okay. I'm, I'm kind of like second-guessing myself here. Let's just pull yeah, cuz lightning still gets her turn Okay, we're good. We're good. I'm like I'm like overthinking this uh actually i'm gonna brave attack on these just to make sure that they're like fully maxed out on brave because the the whole idea of the damage test is the burst phase numbers so i want to make sure that they're all capped on brave so that our first launch is really hefty okay i mean this team is so good at brave game that we should be like almost maxing out all the time anyways all right so now uh, yeah lightning's good all right so now we go burst phase and then we just ex spam and we just see how much damage we get so we're going to start with the weaker enemy. We're just going to balance the attacks out. 
so that we don't just like kill one really early. All right, here we go. And then this is it. You, you're constantly breaking, you're refreshing. Dude, entering burst phase at 731. I mean, that's a very high percent to go in at. So that, this is a great start to the damage test. All right, so very first hit from lightning is do 43 million already. <laughs> 43 million on the first hit of force time. So this is going to add up. And unfortunately, we are going to kill one of these enemies early because this damage is craziness. Absolutely insane damage from my girl lightning here. All right, get these HP dumps in. All right, second attack. <clears throat> 47 million. I mean, <laughs> it's pretty good. Pretty, and like we're, <laughs> yeah, we just keep going. All right, uh, let's go back to this guy, I guess, army of one. Like this is just an annihilate. And it's kind of funny. This is the newest Shinryu and I'm just destroying it on a damage test. Like I, my intent here isn't that I want to beat the fight. I just want to test their damage. Um, but yeah, this fight is over. <laughs> I mean, it's already over. 52 million on that shot. And then, yeah, now we're getting the extra off turn to help the damage out. Kind of nutty. Lightning is powerful. Nobody's denying that. You just really want, like, she is, like, <laughs> she's like a, she's the, the one woman wrecking machine is what she is. All right, so 56 million, that enemy's dead. Okay, so now we're losing any splash, so, like, this is hitting only half the damage. So that's extra, that's already 7 million damage we've lost, because there's only uh, one enemy now. Uh, army of one. So keeping in mind that lightning is single target focus, and we have two enemies instead of three, just keep that in mind as we see this, uh, burst phase number but i think it's still going to be pretty dang impressive for what she can do all right 58 million there so yeah lightning is topping out at about 60 mil which is pretty good considering she's been almost at that amount the entire burst phase it's kind of a bummer that at the end i have to do the burst attack because her ex hits harder than her burst so we're actually going to lose damage on the burst attack. Yeah, another 58 million shot. <clears throat> another nice little off turn sneaking in at the end. And then we finish with the burst attack. Yeah, it's pretty crazy that her EX is so strong. Like, I don't want to press her force during uh, this burst phase. And I don't even want to press the BT button. All right, what do we got for a number damage test for lightning? Burst phase, 375 million. So we almost pushed 400 million with a single target damage character on a two unit fight. Uh, that's pretty dang good. Lightning's got some insane damage. So uh, yeah, let me know what you think of Lightning. Thanks for watching. We'll catch y'all on the next one.